What's up guys, Prepared Guy here once again. Today I'm gonna to tell you about the G122 from Falco Hosters. This is a really cool EDC CCW bag. I've been looking for one for a while now and I really, really like this one, so I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. It's summertime and we all wear less clothes when it gets hot. Carrying around your CCW can be challenging when wearing gym shorts and a t-shirt. And most of the EDC CCW capable bags out there aren't very gray man or just too large to be comfortable and still blend in in warmer weather. So I had to do some research when looking for summertime CCW EDC bags. I wanted something that can hold my basic pocket contents and my CCW without being too large or too small. The Falco G122 crossbody bag was a great option. Option. It's made of heavy-duty nylon materials and can hold most standard CCWs, even with a laser or flashlight attachment. There are also four zippered compartments equipped with YKK zippers. The CCW compartment has a Velcro wall that can be used to hold your CCW holster or even other basic EDC tools via a Velcro insert. Speaking of Velcro inserts, the G122 comes with a one-size-fits-most adjustable Velcro holster. The standard strap is adjustable up to 57 inches, which was more than enough wiggle room for me, but for larger folks out there, you can order one with a larger strap for just $10 more. Also, when ordering from the website, make sure to specify whether you're a lefty or a righty. You'll be given those options when placing your order. Now let's take a brief tour of the G122. All right, guys, now we're gonna do a brief tour of the G122. Now on the front here, you'll see that it has a little hole over here with a key fob thing coming out of it. This is supposed to be for your keychain. Um, I think it's very cheap looking, it's plastic, and I would definitely replace this with a key ring of some sort or some kind of other thing that's metal. It's a $90 bag, it's got this little cheap key hook thing. I don't know, I'm not even gonna really use it that much as this is just for display right now. You get the Molly on the outside of here. If you're going for a slimmed down, minimalist look, um, you're not gonna wanna stick a bunch of extra stuff on there. And I've seen people have videos and stuff where they're sticking like flashlights and stuff on here. I don't want a big flashlight hanging off the side here. I'm gonna put everything inside of the bag. Um, that way I keep the nice minimalist look and I don't have anybody, everybody kind of seeing what I have with me. So you got the pocket up here. You could put your ID or a minimalist wallet in there with a couple other things that you could put in there. Very, very small space, but good enough to keep a wallet. Then you have another pocket on the front here. That when you actually put stuff inside the main compartment, you're gonna lose that front pocket. It's gonna be almost completely useless unless you're putting just a credit card in there. Then you're gonna be perfectly fine. Then you have your main compartment with your EDC firearm. You can put that in there and you're gonna be able to reach that. Then you have your fourth pocket back here is where I keep my Israeli bandage and my EDC flashlight and multi-tool and of course a pen and you can also keep an extra magazine as well and that all fits back here in this little pouch now I have this extra extra stuff for this video this is not exactly the way I'm going to carry it it may or may not be I'm not 100% sure then on the other side here you have your quick release the quick release is kind of hitting so you have to kind of get used to it first so if you squeeze here you're gonna be able to pop that off pretty quick, pretty easy. So let's see if I could do it quicker. Yep, see, pretty, pretty simple. Just take some getting used to, because it is kind of tucked in there with the material that's kind of difficult to squeeze. So with that said, we're gonna squeeze that, pop that out. I'm gonna show you guys the strap. This is what the strap looks like. It's adjustable, it's heavy weighted nylon material. Very, very thick, very, very secure feeling. When you're gonna put it on your body, I don't feel like somebody's gonna be able to pull this off me without dragging me with it. So that's a plus there. Adjustable, easy to adjust. Clip that back in. Now, if you look at the material on the back here, this is a nice, like vinyl kind of, um, I don't know if it's like, almost like feels like a Kydex kind of like texture to it, but not too bad. Very, very nice setup. You can also use it as a fanny pack. You can use it as a fanny pack. You can draw from the pack like so by putting your hand in there and grab. You can wear it as a backpack as well. You could wear it as a backpack. My pros and cons are as follows. First, the pros. The bag has a good amount of pockets and the ability to hold almost any standard size CCW along with a wallet, 
flashlight, and multi-tool. But if I wanted to skip carrying the tools, the rear pocket is large enough to hold my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. The most impressive part is that it can hold all these items whilst maintaining a small profile. Now for the cons. The key holder and small pocket in the front were next to useless once you filled the rest of the compartments. Personally, I would have added a small pouch with a key tab inside. That way, everything stays hidden and neatly tucked away. Overall, the bag is of great quality and I'm currently using it every day as my summer EDC bag. Rolling in at $90 on the Falco holster website, the bag might seem a little pricey, but the quality goes well beyond the price. Falco holsters are made on site, so you get the full quality control direct from the company with no middleman. Also, did I mention that it comes with a lifetime limited warranty? Falco stands behind their products and that's always a good thing. So do yourself a huge favor and support your preparedness by ordering one of these CCW EDC bags now. I'll leave a link down in the description. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Prepared Guy, and until next time, guys, stay prepared.